guys so I have struggled with oily skin for many many years and I'm sure that a lot of you have as well so I wanted to share my my steps and my, the things that I do to keep my face shine free all throughout the day so um, I guess enjoy the first thing I do is I cleanse my face with this it is a clean and clear morning burst and it is um, the shine control facial cleanser um, clean and clear makes I think three or four of these different colors there's one which is, um, it's blue and I think that is anti-oxidizing, so it kind of takes away all your dirt and grime. There's, uh, there's an orangish red one and they all basically do different things and the reason I love this is because it literally, like, it has the nicest smell to it and it has, like, these bursting beads in it that once you rub onto your face you feel like you're awake, like, it somehow, it opens up all your senses and does something to you and... I feel like it does help my skin stay shine free a lot more than it did before when I used other cleansers. The next thing I do is use my oil control lotion from MAC. Um, I absolutely love this. I think it controls oil better than any other lotion that I've ever used. And I want to explain to you guys that a lot of people who have oily skin um, don't put moisturizer on their face because they feel like they're adding something to their face that's going to look oily. But that it's really, really important for you to moisturize your face because that's your way of hydrating your skin. For everybody who has oily skin, the reason it's oily is because when um when when your skin was normal, which it always was when you're younger, because your skin doesn't I mean before you hit puberty you don't go through any kind of problem like that. The reason your skin becomes oily is when you don't moisturize your face because you're stripping your face of all the natural oils by using whatever products you are and then if you don't replace that oil with moisturizer, your body works double as hard to create that oil. And when it's working double as hard, it's creating double the oil. And that's something that's really difficult to change once you've already done that to yourself. So you should never ever skip the step to moisturize. Whether your skin is dry, oily, combination, normal, you should find a moisturizer that works for you and always, always put this on after you cleanse your skin and before you put on makeup. Next, what I do is I... Yikes, I forgot. Sorry about that. I use my MAC Matte Cream. Um, all it says is matte, and then it's in this tube. It is... It's basically made of silicone, which gives you the illusion of having really, really nice dry skin. Um, it's it's very, very slippery, so take a little bit of it, kind of rub it around your nose, your T-zone area, wherever you get oily, and see how dramatically different your face looks. It'll be completely, like, it'll look like it's stripped of oil, but it's not, because you're just adding something to your skin without taking it away. So, I really like that. And if you have um, combination skin or just oily, not very oily, I would skip this next step. But if you have very, very oily skin, you should do this too. I use a Skin Refined T-Zone treatment and put it in all the areas that have really, really big pores. For me, it's this right here, the, the tip of my nose. And this is adding another layer to protect you from oil, so your oil, your oil will now have to go through a couple of barriers to get out, right? So we've already got the oil control lotion, we've got the matte cream, now we've got this. Oh, and the first step, we've got this too. So it has to go through four barriers to come out. So this is amazing, only for very, very oily skin. Or if you have big pores, you can do this too because it completely, completely just wipes out your pores if like you don't see them anymore. It's not a treatment though. Even though it says treatment on here, it's not a treatment. It's not something that will actually take away your pores in the long run, so don't be fooled by that. Next, what I do is during the day when I don't want a full coverage, heavy, made-up look, I use my Studio Fix powder. This is NC42. Um, Studio Fix basically comes with the powder and comes with the sponge on the bottom. This anything powder base is really, really good for oily skin, which is why I'm talking about this in my video versus my Matte Velvet Plus, which is very good as well, but I use that for the nighttime. So I applied this with my SS 150 brush, just a big um, all-over face brush. And I, that gives me the completely flawless look that I want. It's got, my oil has, you know, like five different layers to go through. And then during the day, I mean, no matter what you do to your skin, if you have oily skin, your oil will come out at some point. But this only helps it to come out a little bit later. So, 
after five to seven hours, maybe nine for some of you, your oil will start to reappear. So then what I do is I use my matte blot powder, which is this. I think um, they have four different colors, but you can honestly use any color because these are not very pigmented and therefore whatever color it looks like in here, is it's not going to add that color to your skin. The reason I like that, and I, I do love that, is because it's not adding more makeup. It's just kind of, it's kind of patting on the silicone based formula to take away your shine without adding another layer of makeup to look like it's caked on. And if you guys don't want to invest in that because that is $28, I can understand it gets pretty expensive. Um, I use the Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets. And they're like thin blue sheets that you just pat onto your face, it'll take away oil. But of course, if you're, if you're in a public setting, you don't want to just bust these out and start grease freeing your face, you know. But these are my steps. Um, I just now started double teaming these like to do that because normally I would just use this. And with this, I feel like I stay shine-free pretty much all day. And if I'm not going for 12 hours straight, then I just come home, take off my makeup, and I'm good. And if I am, then I keep blotting away. But I hope this works out for you. Leave me comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!